In the latest developments on General Hospital, viewers are bracing for an emotionally charged storyline as the fate of beloved character Lulu Spencer takes a tragic turn. After more than three years in a coma, it appears that Lulu will not survive, bringing her prolonged suffering to an end. For many, this outcome, while heartbreaking, is seen as a form of release for Lulu, who has been trapped in a state of unconsciousness for so long. The news of her impending death sends waves of grief through the town of Port Charles, particularly among those who knew and loved her. Lulu's death is a devastating blow, especially for her mother, Laura Spencer. Laura has been a pillar of strength throughout Lulu's ordeal, holding on to hope even when the situation seemed bleak. Now, as the reality sets in that she will have to say a final goodbye to her daughter, Laura is overwhelmed with sorrow. The loss of Lulu is a pain that cuts deep, and Laura's grief is palpable as she prepares to lay her daughter to rest. The funeral for Lulu is expected to be a somber event, with the entire community coming together to mourn the loss of a woman who is known for her kindness and strong spirit. Lulu's death touches everyone in Port Charles, but no one feels the pain more acutely than her family. Lucky Spencer, Lulu's brother, receives the tragic news and makes his way back to Port Charles to be with his family and to pay his respects. Lucky's return to town is bittersweet. He comes home under the worst possible circumstances, and his heart is heavy with the loss of his sister. Upon returning to Port Charles, Lucky is also reunited with his son, Aidan. This reunion adds another layer of emotion to the storyline, as Lucky faces the challenge of being there for his son while also grappling with his own grief. The encounter between father and son is poignant, reminding viewers of the enduring bonds of family, even in the face of loss. Lucky's return to Port Charles is a reminder of the connections that hold people together, even when life takes them in different directions. Meanwhile, another storyline unfolds as Christina Corinthos Davis makes a significant decision in the wake of her recent miscarriage. The loss of her unborn child has left Christina devastated, and she finds herself struggling to cope with the overwhelming grief. In an attempt to start anew and escape the pain, Christina decides to leave Port Charles and move to New York. She hopes that a change of scenery will help her heal and begin a new chapter in her life far from the memories that haunt her in Port Charles. Sonny Corinthos, Christina's father, supports her decision to move. He believes that leaving Port Charles might be the best way for Christina to distance herself from the pain and find a way to move forward. Sonny understands that sometimes a fresh start in a new place can offer the perspective and peace needed to heal from deep emotional wounds. His support for Christina's choice reflects his desire to see his daughter find happiness, even if it means being far away from home. However, Christina's mother, Alexis Davis, does not share Sonny's view. Alexis believes that running away from her problems will not help Christina in the long run. She feels that Christina needs to stay in Port Charles and confront her pain head-on, rather than trying to escape it. Alexis's perspective is rooted in the belief that facing adversity and working through it is the only way to truly heal. She fears that Christina's decision to leave might only delay the inevitable process of coming to terms with her loss.